Frame dragging is an effect on spacetime, predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity, that is due to non-static stationary distributions of mass energy. A stationary field is one that is in a steady state, but the masses causing that field may be non-static, rotating for instance. More generally, the subject of effects caused by mass energy currents is known as gravitomagnetism, in analogy with classical electromagnetism. The first frame dragging effect was derived in 1918, in the framework of general relativity, by the Austrian physicists Joseph Lenz and Hans Thuring, and is also known as the Lenz Thuring effect. They predicted that the rotation of a massive object would distort the spacetime metric, making the orbit of a nearby test particle precess. This does not happen in Newtonian mechanics for which the gravitational field of a body depends only on its mass, not on its rotation. The lens thuring effect is very small about one part in a few trillion. To detect it, it is necessary to examine a very massive object, or build an instrument that is very sensitive. In 2015, new general relativistic extensions of Newtonian rotation laws were formulated to describe geometric dragging of frames which incorporates a newly discovered anti-dragging effect. <laughs> <laughs> effects Rotational frame dragging the lens effect appears in the general principle of relativity and similar theories in the vicinity of rotating massive objects. Under the lens thuring effect, the frame of reference in which a clock ticks the fastest is one which is revolving around the object as viewed by a distant observer. This also means that light traveling in the direction of rotation of the object will move past the massive object faster than light moving against the rotation, as seen by a distant observer. It is now the best known frame dragging effect, partly thanks to the gravity probe B experiment. Qualitatively, frame dragging can be viewed as the gravitational analog of electromagnetic induction. Also, an inner region is dragged more than an outer region. This produces interesting locally rotating frames. For example, imagine that a north-south oriented ice skater, in orbit over the equator of a black hole and rotationally at rest with respect to the stars, extends her arms. The arm extended toward the black hole will be torqued spinward due to gravitomagnetic induction. Torqued is in quotes because gravitational effects are not considered forces under GR. Likewise the arm extended away from the black hole will be torqued anti-spinward. She will therefore be rotationally sped up, in a counter-rotating sense to the black hole. This is the opposite of what happens in everyday experience. There exists a particular rotation rate that, should she be initially rotating at that rate when she extends her arms, inertial effects and frame dragging effects will balance and her rate of rotation will not change. Due to the equivalence principle, gravitational effects are locally indistinguishable from inertial effects, so this rotation rate, at which when she extends her arms nothing happens, is her local reference for non-rotation. This frame is rotating with respect to the fixed stars and counter-rotating with respect to the black hole. This effect is analogous to the hyperfine structure in atomic spectra due to nuclear spin. A useful metaphor is a planetary gear system with the black hole being the sun gear, the ice skater being a planetary gear and the outside universe being the ring gear. See Max principle. Another interesting consequence is that, for an object constrained in an equatorial orbit, but not in freefall, it weighs more if orbiting anti-spinward, and less if orbiting spinward. For example, in a suspended equatorial bowling alley, a bowling ball rolled anti-spinward would weigh more than the same ball rolled in a spinward direction. Note, frame dragging will neither accelerate or slow down the bowling ball in either direction. It is not a viscosity. Similarly, a stationary plumb bob suspended over the rotating object will not list. It will hang vertically. If it starts to fall, induction will push it in the spinward direction. Linear frame dragging is the similarly inevitable result of the general principle of relativity, applied to linear momentum. Although it arguably has equal theoretical legitimacy to the rotational effect, the difficulty of obtaining an experimental verification of the effect means that it receives much less discussion and is often omitted from articles on frame dragging but see Einstein, 1921, static mass increase is a third effect noted by Einstein in the same paper. The effect is an increase in inertia of a body when other masses are placed nearby. While not strictly a frame dragging effect, the term frame dragging is not used by Einstein. It is demonstrated by Einstein that it derives from the same equation of general relativity. 
It is also a tiny effect that is difficult to confirm experimentally. Experimental tests In 1976 Van Patten and Everett proposed to implement a dedicated mission aimed to measure the lens thuring node precession of a pair of counter-orbiting spacecraft to be placed in terrestrial polar orbits with drag-free apparatus. A somewhat equivalent, cheaper version of such an idea was put forth in 1986 by Sufolini who proposed to launch a passive, geodetic satellite in an orbit identical to that of the LAGEOS satellite, launched in 1976, apart from the orbital planes which should have been displaced by 180 DEG apart, the so-called butterfly configuration. The measurable quantity was, in this case, the sum of the nodes of LAGEOS and of the new spacecraft, later named LAGEOS-3, Larry's, Weber Sat. Limiting the scope to the scenarios involving existing orbiting bodies, the first proposal to use the LAGEOS satellite and the Satellite Laser Ranging SLR technique to measure the lens thuring effect dates back to 1977-1978. Tests have started to be effectively performed by using the LAGEOS and LAGEOS-2 satellites in 1996, according to a strategy involving the use of a suitable combination of the nodes of both satellites and the perigee of LAGEOS-2. The latest tests with the LAGEOS satellites have been performed in 2004-2006 by discarding the perigee of LAGEOS-2 and using a linear combination. Recently, a comprehensive overview of the attempts to measure the lens thuring effect with artificial satellites was published in the literature. The overall accuracy reached in the tests with the LAGEOS satellites is subject to some controversy. The Gravity Probe B experiment was a satellite based mission by a Stanford group and NASA, used to experimentally measure another gravitomagnetic effect, the shift precession of a gyroscope, to an expected 1% accuracy or better. Unfortunately such accuracy was not achieved. The first preliminary results released in April 2007 pointed towards an accuracy of 256 to 128 percent, with the hope of reaching about 13 percent in December 2007. In 2008 the Senior Review Report of the NASA Astrophysics Division Operating Missions stated that it was unlikely that Gravity Probe B team will be able to reduce the errors to the level necessary to produce a convincing test of currently untested aspects of general relativity including frame dragging. On May 4, 2011, the Stanford-based Analysis Group and NASA announced the final report, and in it the data from GPB demonstrated the frame-dragging effect with an error of about 19%, and Einstein's predicted value was at the center of the confidence interval. In the case of stars orbiting close to a spinning, supermassive black hole, frame-dragging should cause the star's orbital plane to precess about the black hole spin axis. This effect should be detectable within the next few years via astrometric monitoring of stars at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. By comparing the rate of orbital precession of two stars on different orbits, it is possible in principle to test the no-hair theorems of general relativity, in addition to measuring the spin of the black hole. <laughs> Astronomical evidence Relativistic jets may provide evidence for the reality of frame dragging. Gravitomagnetic forces produced by the lens thuring effect frame dragging within the ergosphere of rotating black holes combined with the energy extraction mechanism by Penrose have been used to explain the observed properties of relativistic jets. The gravitomagnetic model developed by Rava K. Williams predicts the observed high-energy particles tilde GeV emitted by quasars and active galactic nuclei, the extraction of X-rays, gamma rays, and relativistic E-E plus pairs, the collimated jets about the polar axis, and the asymmetrical formation of jets relative to the orbital plane. Mathematical derivation <laughs> 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 Frame dragging may be illustrated most readily using the Kerr metric, which describes the geometry of spacetime in the vicinity of a mass m rotating with angular momentum j, and boyer lindquist coordinates, where an unphysical, but mathematically more elegant radial coordinate r see the link for the transformation is used c 2 d tau 2 equals 1 minus r 
S R Rho two C two D T two minus Rho two Lambda two D R two minus Rho two D theta two minus R two plus alpha two plus R S R alpha two Rho two sin two theta sin two theta D Phi two plus two R S R alpha C sin two theta rho two D phi D T display style begin aligned C carrot two D tau carrot two equals and left one F R A C R underscore S R rho carrot two right C carrot two D T carrot two F R A C rho carrot two Lambda carrot two Doctor carrot two rho carrot two D theta carrot two and left R carrot two plus alpha carrot two plus F R A C R underscore S R alpha carrot two Rho carrot two sin carrot two theta right sin carrot two theta D phi carrot two plus FRAC two R underscore S R alpha C sin carrot two theta rho carrot two D phi D T end aligned where R S is the Schwarzschild radius R S equals two GMC two display style R underscore S equals FRAC two GMC carrot two and where the following shorthand variables have been introduced for brevity alpha equals JMC C display style alpha equals frac j make row two equals r two plus alpha two cos two theta display style row caret two equals r caret two plus alpha caret two cos caret two theta lambda two equals r two minus r s r plus Alpha two display style lambda caret two equals r caret two r underscore s r plus alpha caret two in the non-relativistic limit where m or equivalently r s goes to zero, the Kerr metric becomes the orthogonal metric for the oblate spheroidal coordinates c two d tau two equals c Two D T two minus Rho two R two plus alpha two D R two minus Rho two D theta two minus R two plus alpha two sin two theta d phi two Display style c caret two d tau caret two equals c caret two d t caret two frac row caret two r caret two plus alpha caret two doctor caret two row caret two d theta caret two left r caret two plus alpha caret two right sin caret two theta d phi caret two. We may rewrite the Kerr metric in the following form: c two d tau Two equals G T T minus G T Phi two G Phi Phi D T two plus G R R D R two plus G theta theta D theta two 
plus g phi phi d phi plus g t phi g phi phi d t 2 Display style c caret 2 d tau caret 2 equals left g underscore t t frac g underscore t phi caret 2 g underscore phi phi right d t caret 2 plus g underscore r r doctor caret 2 plus g underscore theta theta d theta caret 2 plus g underscore phi phi left d phi plus frac g underscore t phi g underscore phi phi d t right caret 2 this metric is equivalent to a co-rotating reference frame that is rotating with angular speed omega that depends on both the radius r and the collatitude theta omega equals minus g t phi g phi phi equals r s alpha r C row two R two plus alpha two plus R S alpha two R sin two theta Display style omega equals frac g underscore t phi g underscore phi phi equals frac r underscore s alpha r c row caret two left r caret two plus alpha caret two right plus r underscore s alpha caret two r sin caret two theta. In the plane of the equator, this simplifies to omega equals r s alpha C R three plus alpha two R plus R S alpha two Display style omega equals frac r underscore s alpha c r caret three plus alpha caret two r plus r underscore s alpha caret two Thus, an inertial reference frame is entrained by the rotating central mass to participate in the latter's rotation, this is frame dragging. An extreme version of frame dragging occurs within the ergosphere of a rotating black hole. The Kerr metric has two surfaces on which it appears to be singular. The inner surface corresponds to a spherical event horizon similar to that observed in the Schwarzschild metric, this occurs at r inner equals r S plus R S two minus four alpha two two display style R underscore text inner equals frac R underscore S plus sqrt R underscore S caret two minus four alpha caret two two, where the purely radial component GER of the metric goes to infinity. The outer surface can be approximated by an oblate spheroid with lower spin parameters, and resembles a pumpkin shape with higher spin parameters. It touches the inner surface at the poles of the rotation axis, where the collatitude θ equals 0 or π, its radius in boyer lindquist coordinates as defined by the formula R outer equals R s plus R s Two minus four alpha two cos two theta two display style r underscore text outer equals frac r underscore s plus sqrt r underscore s caret two minus four alpha caret two cos caret two theta two, where the purely temporal component gtt of the metric changes sign from positive to negative. The space between these two surfaces is called the ergosphere. A moving particle experiences a positive proper time along its world line, its path through spacetime. 
However, this is impossible within the ergosphere, where GTT is negative, unless the particle is co-rotating with the interior mass m with an angular speed at least of omega. However, as seen above, frame dragging occurs about every rotating mass and at every radius r and collatitude theta, not only within the ergosphere. Topic: <laughs> Lens thirring effect inside a rotating shell. The lens thirring effect inside a rotating shell was taken by Albert Einstein as not just support for, but a vindication of Mach's principle, in a letter he wrote to Ernst Mach in 1913 five years before lens and thirring's work, and two years before he had attained the final form of general relativity. A reproduction of the letter can be found in Misner, Thorne, Wheeler. The general effect scaled up to cosmological distances, is still used as a support for Mach's principle. Inside a rotating spherical shell the acceleration due to the lens thuring effect would be a equals minus 2 d 1 omega times v minus d 2 omega times omega times r plus 2 omega r omega display style bar a equals 2 d underscore 1 left bar omega times bar v right d underscore 2 left bar omega times left bar omega times bar r right plus 2 left bar omega bar r right bar omega right where the coefficients are d1 equals 4 mg3 r c2 d2 equals 4 mg15 r c2 display style begin aligned d underscore 1 and equals frac 4 mg3 r c caret 2 d underscore 2 and equals frac 4 mg15 r c caret 2 end aligned for mg r c2 or more precisely d1 equals 4 4 alpha 2 minus alpha 1 plus alpha 3 minus alpha alpha equals m g 2 r c 2 display style d underscore 1 equals frac 4 alpha 2 alpha 1 plus alpha 3 alpha q quad alpha equals frac m g 2 r c caret 2 the spacetime inside the rotating spherical shell will not be flat. A flat spacetime inside a rotating mass shell is possible if the shell is allowed to deviate from a precisely spherical shape and the mass density inside the shell is allowed to vary. See also Kerr metric Geodetic effect Gravity recovery and climate experiment Gravitomagnetism Max principle Broad iron K-line Relativistic jet Lens-thuring precession Woodward effect